Next tonight, a groundbreaking push to stop teenagers in the East Midlands being radicalised by extremist groups. The police have recruited a Muslim comedian to spread the message in schools. Meanwhile, young Muslims in Leicester have signed their own declaration against the so-called Islamic State. They want to make it clear the extremist fighters don't represent their religion. Well, in a moment, we'll be speaking to the policeman in charge of preventing terrorism here in the East Midlands. But first, our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, has this report. Yeah. Hamza Arshad's Diary of a Badman videos attract an audience that the police struggle to engage. Let's call it a draw. Millions of young viewers watch his online sketches about the funny side of life as a British Muslim teenager. But the film he's made for schools in the East Midlands has a message that's deadly serious. Bruv, why are you looking at people getting their heads cut off and stuff? It's about how he deals with violent extremists who recruit his cousin and get kicked out of the local mosque. It was unveiled at Leicester's Crown Hills College and it's designed to provoke a debate. I thought it was amazing. My own hero trying to teach me the points of extremism and terrorism. When it gets comedy, it gets people entertained, it, it makes the lesson go quicker and it makes people more interested as well. If people who are being swayed by other people was, were to watch this video, I think it could possibly change their minds as well because it was really inspirational. This is what they're trying to prevent. Radicalised British Muslims going to fight in Syria for the so-called Islamic State. Last week, Hisham Folkart from Leicester was named on a list of IS fighters who'd been captured and exchanged. But now these young Muslims near his old home in Highfields are challenging the group's extremism. They want thousands of people to sign a scroll that's modelled on the American Declaration of Independence. It angers me a lot because their actions don't represent anything to do with Islam. They've been going out beheading people, beheading aid workers for the sake of political power. Nothing in it is for Islam. This whole caliphate thing is a whole farce. We're hoping to get thousands of signatures. We're hoping to take out into schools, colleges, organisations, societies, the whole lot. It's kind of for you. And back at Crown Hills College, a surprise guest. The extremism lesson ended with a personal appearance from Hamza. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! We know that there's a you know, huge problem with uh, terrorism. I think that this is a very important issue that we need to tackle. And, you know, as a Muslim, uh, you know, and as a British citizen, you know, I think it's, you know, a duty of mine to hopefully educate the kids and, and um, yeah, um, hopefully it'll work. Tackling violent extremism is a government priority, but in the past, the so-called prevent programme sometimes being criticised as out of touch. This is a very different approach, and if it works, it's going to be offered to schools across the country. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Leicester.